uh, Cancer and Guillaume Medos and Simon Portuguese chart at Light Observatory. And this is a simulation of the Andromeda Galaxy um, on the right hand side. And it's hey, Stephen, wait, wait. I need your demo to last less than a billion years. All right, I let's get going. We've got a few. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we'll start. So yeah, we're following the Andromeda here, and it's flying in towards the Milky Way. And in five billion years, about four billion years, it's going to make a close pass. It's going to swing past us, and it's going to start spinning stars off the Milky Way and the Andromeda. But gravity is going to inevitably take over. And what you can see, we're, we're running this on Volta, and the number of stars, we can simulate 100 million bodies per second. We can see the vast structure of the Milky Way right there, right next to us, as it comes plunging back for its second pass towards the core of the Andromeda galaxy. And then the core get much closer, and you start seeing stars being flung off to all sides. One of the amazing things is you can look out into the universe, and you can see galaxies colliding in just this way, and you see the same kinds of structures. I see these stars being thrown off in waves as the cores orbit each other and then finally merge. And so about 5.3 billion years, you can see the timer in the corner there, the merge is finally, this is it, this is the moment when all the stars get thrown away and we get left with one single giant galaxy, the fusion of the two with a whole pile of stars, probably including our sun, unfortunately, just flung out into the universe. <laughs>